evening. Oh, I see that you are uh, admiring my rather impressive blazer. Well, this isn't just any blazer. This is a Rotary Youth Exchange blazer. You don't know what Rotary is? Well, Rotary is a philanthropic club that does things such as eradicate polio, bring water to people, and send youth exchange students abroad to help foster peace. Pretty fun stuff. That's right. Mild manner student by day, and crime fighting exchange student by night. <laughs> I mean, superpower! Yay! So, I guess you're wondering where I went. I went to Thailand, also known as Bratet Thai. Yeah. <laughs> My jacket is a composition of all the various pins and doodads and whozits that I got on my exchange. The interesting thing about exchange, I think, is that it's not just something that happens while you're in your country. You never just are. You're always becoming. You never, you don't have this fixed identity of you, and neither does a culture. It's, culture isn't this stagnant thing that you walk into. It's something that you become a part of and that you change and that it changes you and you realize how interconnected the world sort of is. And I don't mean that in sort of like a hippie like, ah, oh, we're all connected. I mean literally everything touches each other and everything connects with each other and you can see all of the spider web of events that one thing causes one thing and another thing causes another thing. And it's kind of exciting to realize how you're a part of this because even if you don't have maybe you don't think of yourself as being truly important you are because each thing that you do kind of affects everything else so it's kind of cool to think that I'm a part of this culture and this culture is a part of me now and that each of these different pins and doodads and things represent different people I've met and you know I don't know maybe they're just somebody I met in passing or maybe they're someone who will be a lifelong friend and it's just kind of exciting to think of that. Most important to me were my friends. These are all my friends from school. They actually made me a lovely photo frame that they wrote on the glass and wrote me a beautiful poem, but it kind of got cracked and destroyed a little bit in the mail, so I just keep the wonderful pictures, the wonderful photos of my friends and memories. All of our school time escapades. I miss my friends a lot. There are probably a million stories that I could tell you about my time in Thailand, but I decided to single out this one. So I was going to ride home on the Songtel for the first time by myself from school. My host mother had shown me, and I was sort of like, yeah, 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 I got this, I got this. I got on the Songtel, and I was holding onto the bars and hanging off and letting the wind fly in my face. <laughs> and I was so excited watching all the places go by me, like, yes. I'm on a song tell, that's right. Hi, hello there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I knew that I had to push the little buzzer and I would get off at my stop, supposedly, and end up where I wanted to be. So, I pushed the buzzer right about where I think I was supposed to get off, and I walked around, <laughs> and I looked around, hoping to find my Thai host family's house. And I realized that I couldn't find it. I accidentally got lost, and I was going to find my way again. Hopefully. So I was walking along, going to different shops. song my ka. That means, have you seen Ted Saban 12 Road? But I put man falang le, which means I speak like a falang, which is a foreigner. So I'm not sure that everyone can understand me. Alaika, my ka jai ka, not falang, my ka jai le. I was lost, and I was in a country in which my language skills were not entirely up to par, because it was only you know my first couple of weeks or so. So I was walking along. Just kind of enjoying being lost, enjoying exploring the city because I love being lost and finding things that you didn't even know that you were looking for. And 
as I was walking down the road, I realized that it was starting to get a little bit late, and that maybe my host family might start to worry a little bit. I saw this woman with a baby moving a couch. I'm not entirely certain what possessed me to want to ask her, but I asked this lady, excuse me, could you help me? And in Thai, of course, and she said, yes, yes, just help me move my couch. So I helped this lady move her couch, and she offered me a ride on her motorcycle, and so I became sort of part of this motorcycle group. It wasn't really a motorcycle gang, like, you know, James Dean, you know, knocking over motor, knocking over mailboxes and all of that stuff, her tough motorcycle gang, like you think of. It was just this group of people who ride motorcycles together. Motorcycle, which is more like a moped, but motorcycle sounds tougher, so that's what I'm going to call it. I rode on the back with this lady and her baby, because on Thai motorcycles you can pretty much fit your entire family and the dog and an open ladder and a television and possibly your house. We rode through the night sky and it was so lovely. And I just, even though I was lost and I couldn't find my way and I was in a foreign country, I was so excited that I happened to meet up with this lady and be on the back of a motorcycle and be just riding three, free through the night. It was so exciting and I wouldn't give that up for anything. Never be afraid to get lost. Purposely get lost because you never know what you'll find. There's so many amazing things if you just let go of your assumptions and really think about what you know and what you don't know. It's amazing. I promise you. This has been Exchange Student Corner. Let us be all scary, my noble steed. Hi-ho, silver!